Hello and welcome to Tutor KE. This is Mathematics Form 3. Topic Quadratic Expressions and Equations. I'll be taking you through the formation of quadratic equations. And in this lesson, we will form and solve quadratic equations from the word problem. In the word problem, you are given some information where you are supposed to form an equation and later on solve it. For example, we are told a positive two digit number is such that the product of the digit is 24. When the digits are reversed, the number formed is greater than the original number by 18 and we are expected to find the number. So we can let the number be x, y. From the first statement where we are told that the product of the digits is 24, it means that x multiplied by y should give us 24. And this one forms our first equation. Call it equation 1. So x, y is equals to 24 is our equation number 1. Again, from the information we are told that when the digits are reversed, the new number formed is greater than the original number by 18, or rather it exceeds the original number by 18. So let the reversed number be y, x, and the difference between the new number and the original number will be 18. This means that y, x, minus x, y should be equal to 18. Putting the total value on these numbers, you will have 10y plus x for the new number minus 10x plus y for the original number being equal to 18. So if we open the brackets, we'll have 10y plus x minus 10x minus y equal to 18. 10y minus y gives us 9y. x minus 10x gives us negative 9x which is equal to 18. We simplify this by dividing by 9 because it is a common divisor and this one gives us y minus x is equal to 2. This forms our second equation and now we can solve the two equations simultaneously. From the first equation which is x, y is equals to 24. We can make y the subject of the formula by dividing by x and by x. So we have y is equals to 24 over x. Then we substitute the value of y in the second equation. And this gives us 24 over x minus x is equal to 2. We make the equation linear by multiplying by x or through. So we'll have by x, by x, and by x. This gives us 24 minus x times x is x squared is equals to 2 times x which is 2x then we collect the like terms together we'll have negative x squared minus 2x plus 24 being equal to 0 we divide by negative 1 to make the coefficient of x squared positive 
and this gives us x squared plus 2x minus 24 being equal to 0. Here we formed a quadratic equation from the word problem and now we need to solve it. So our equation is x squared plus 2x minus 24 is equals to 0. We can solve it either by factorization method or quadratic formula or completing square method but now I will use the factorization method. So the product here is negative 24 and the sum is the coefficient of x which is 2. So we think of two numbers when you multiply them you get negative 24 and when you add them you get a positive 2 and those numbers are 6 and negative 4. When you add 6 plus negative 4 you get 2. When you multiply the 2 you will get negative 24. We rewrite the equation and in the place of 2x we replace the two factors. So we have x squared plus 6x minus 4x minus 24 should give us 0. So you pair them so that you can factor out the common term. So we have x is common in the first pair. In the brackets we'll have x plus 6 minus 4 is common into x plus 6 which is equal to 0. So we have x minus 4 multiplied by x plus 6 being equal to 0. So either x minus 4 is equal to 0 and in that case x will be 4 or x plus 6 is the one which is 0 and in this case x will be negative 6. We ignore the negative value of x because we are told it is a positive two digit number. So the value of x is supposed to be 4. We can substitute in the previous expression of y to get the value of y. So we are told that y is equals to 24 divided by x. So the value of y will be equal to 24 divided by 4 since x is equal to 4. And this one gives the value of y as 6. The original number was x, y and this means that the original number is 46. That is the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching.